Hi, I'm James from WallSmart. Today I'll be showing you the installation process for the new construction flush installation wall mount for the Crestron TSW770 touchscreen. The wall mount supplied is unpainted and will be finished together with the wall. All new construction wall mounts have an installation step on the back and a drywall compound groove on their front. To install the wall mount, start by picking the correct place and installation height and add horizontal supports connecting to the studs and route all of your cables down to the installation point. To install the mount, apply structural adhesive to the back step of the mount and check that the mount is perfectly level when applying it to your horizontal supports. And then we attach the mount using drywall screws. And next we cut and mount the drywall. Perform at least a level 4 drywall finish per ASTM C840. So next we're going to chamfer the drywall edges around the mount. For better rigidity, apply setting type compound at the gap between the mount and the drywall. Please pay attention to apply the setting type compound to the gap between the mount and the drywall only. Do not apply setting type compound in the wall mount front groove. Next, apply drywall compound and paper tape using high quality pre-mixed drywall compound. In this installation, Paper tape will perform better than mesh or fiber tape. Please pay attention to apply the paper tape to the bottom of the wall mount front groove. Align the paper tape so no part of it will touch the inner groove slope and squeeze out all of the drywall compound beneath the tape. If required, cut along the paper tape to reduce its width. Let the installation thoroughly dry at least one day or more if you are working in a damp room. Sand adapter and drywall compound using fine sandpaper until front surface of the adapter is visibly clean green. Sand excess compound, apply second drywall joint compound layer and let dry at least overnight. Avoid heating the installation point using a blower. Let joint compound dry in the ambient room temperature. Sand excess compound, apply a third drywall compound layer in case it's required for minor touch-ups. Clean out the audio grills. Paint the wall, avoid spray painting, and do not paint internal surfaces. Attach the device adapter plate to the device. Now we will insert the device. Calibrate the mount depth. Connect and insert the device. To remove the device, push in its left or right edges. 